So once you have the basic layout for your one point perspective drawing done, you gotta put in some details so that you know where to go and it speeds up the, the finishing time. So there's a door on that back wall, so I'm gonna lay out the molding around the door and then inset the door itself. Um, you'll notice that to inset the door, what I have to do is uh, pull some lines back to the vanishing point. They wind up being very short lines, but it's just so that you can kind of see a little bit of detail and that the door does go back in space a couple of inches. Once that's done, um, I can kind of refine everything around the doorway and begin putting the detail of the actual doorway in. Notice that I'm insetting it on the top and the bottom just a little bit. Then, by putting the door handle in about one third of the way up, I can uh, then identify where the detail within the door is, all the routed out insets and stuff. And by blocking in that grid, that gives me, gives me some landmarks that I can use um, against the walls. So what you want to do on this back wall is find the height where, um, where everything is, and then you can compare that to what's on the walls on the side and the floor. So once this is all subdivided, this gives me some landmarks that I can use. So one of the things I notice is that um, just about four inches lower than the door itself is the point where the arch actually begins in the hallway. So I can bring that off of both sides and create a line where the arch uh, begins. Then I can measure out the, um, the distance that the arch is in the same way that, that you created the height and width relationship of the door, you can figure out how far over the archway needs to go. And if you find one side, you bring a line over and you can find the other side on that line. That way you have a very objective way of creating these distances. And you find it on both sides and you've got your archway. Not a problem. There, all done. So, once you have that, then you can estimate the top of that little archway, bring it over, and send it back again. Then, circles play are a little bit weird in perspective, so what you do is you divide that distance in half on both sides, and that will tell you where the peak of the arch is. And then you can estimate that curve. I notice that there's a little bit of inconsistency in the next part on these curves, and uh, you'll see that you can actually fix any mistakes you make at this stage in later stages as they appear. It's not too big of a deal. But you, anytime you do make a mistake and you notice it, it's okay to go ahead and fix it in the drawing. So now the archway is laid out, so now I have to give the wall a little bit of thickness because you do see into the rooms on either side. So I'm not really measuring this against anything, I'm just doing something that seems a little bit reasonable, and then I'll pull it out in perspective uh, to make sure that it integrates well. And then I find the ellipse on the other side of the wall, and draw that in. And you'll notice that I'm drawing through the wall as if it were invisible. That way I kind of know that if, if I need some of the uh, lines or angles on that opposite side for any reason, I can use them there. there. And, uh, you know, it's a good time now with perspective to get comfortable drawing through things as if they're a wireframe model.
that'll come back in the structure section and again in the still life section, the landscape, the figures. You'll be using that concept for the rest of the for the rest of the class. And here I'm kind of freehanding this curve. I would suggest getting comfortable drawing these curves out uh, without any kind of measuring tools or anything because it is something that you need to develop a feel for. And that just takes work and time. So what I'm doing now is I'm inlaying an extra little door that's in that left wall and it's very very small relative to that to that space. Um, it's only like three quarters or a quarter of an inch wide. And now what I'm doing is uh, putting the room on the left in. 